I've heard uh, much about you mm -hmm. and uh, I've uh, listened to you speaking mm -hmm. to audience, most especially the young women. I want to ask you, uh, you know we are in the world of technology. Right. How do you think uh, technology can empower young women in this country? Technology is a very fundamental right now, especially now we are industrial revolutions for zero, which is now we have a big data, we have a blockchain, and then we have the artificial intelligence. And then the most important thing, the half of the populations of the world is a female. So their right has to be represented, right? So, and then we know that there is a lot of um, forced labor, statistic all over the world, the female labor of the, the female percentage is a very, very low. Mm. So this is something that we have to do to combine this role of the women by the technology, which is, can be a solution for this. And how we can do this is have to educate the women, right? To the access for the education or digital skills, the ICT courses have to be throughout all the education in every stages. Mm. In the same time, all the training courses as well, it needs to be accessible for boys and for girls equally in the same time. Also, most of our training courses are very all-male examples. You know, what we need to create is giving example and giving the training courses that gender balance, yeah. which is giving more example, um, so not discriminatory perpetuate to norms to the male. So make it all balanced examples. You have male examples, you have a female examples. In this way, when we educate more young people, especially in the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, that's where our technology and our digital inclusions can be hand in hand together to face the industrial revolution. Yeah. Towards you. That's very good. I I think uh, with what you are saying, what I'm, I'm understanding is uh, if the young women of this generation can embrace the technology of now, yeah. it can actually help in curbing the gender inequality. All right. uh, yes. I think, uh, because, you know, in, in the government sectors, you see a uh, very low percentage of women participating yes. in government yes. and uh, even in work even in, in the economy yes. as well yeah. and in work sector as well yes. women are seen to be paid less exactly. than the men exactly. even when they are doing the same job exactly. so uh, how do you think uh, um, society at large can look into this uh, abnormal situation in court and uh, uh, look into it and a way you think outside this technology as well uh, because when we talk about technology, yes. I think entrepreneurship is also important. Women mm -hmm. should engage themselves because one thing I understand about young ladies is uh, I think young ladies of these days think they don't have much responsibilities attached to themselves. Yeah. That's why when they make money, they, they're trying to spend the money in luxury wares yeah. because it, it, uh, like in my country, mm -hmm. you hardly see women owning properties, yeah. owning houses, mm -hmm having good businesses so not that they don't get money for those things mm. but I think it's just because they felt no much responsibility attached to them yeah. all they needed is just get a husband get a job start bearing children yeah. so what, what are you what, what are you going to say about this this time especially um, we are getting more global yeah um, our economically growing getting developed and more developed years by years of course, we cannot just simply say that, oh, that's your job, because you are a male. You are the leader in a family, then you have to work. Basically, I'm just going to be manager and teach you at home. That's, that's not how it works. When we advocate about gender equality, it means we both are actually having, not equally the same, but at least to be equally having the same um, gender equality in the economically speaking is how we have to, to make ourselves that is actually look equal. Meaning, we have to say that even though we are a female, we're able to do the same job as, as a male. We deserve to get the same pay as a male at the same time. And when we speak about technology, this is not entirely um, 
business or a high sector per se. Technology cannot work alone. We, as a leaders, as a policy makers, as an academia, as a private sector, as a civil society, right? We all actually have to create the technology all together to make this technology work for all of us, right? So even though this is digital entrepreneurship, even though this is a digital empowerment for female, in the end, when we can utilize all this technology all together, this is just going to be develop more our economy. And in the same time, that's decreasing the gender inequality in this world. Yep. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank I you really, so really much. I appreciate your your contributions. Um, young ladies, um, married ladies, <laughs> I want you to take a challenge from my beloved sister here. She's an international speaker. Tell them your age so they can get challenged. You know. I am currently 26 years old uh, from Indonesia, and then. Um, Currently, I'm the UN Youth IGF uh, Ambassador for Indonesia. So my aim is actually to create more um, internet policy that equal for everyone. You have it. So stay tuned. Have a blessed moment. Don't forget to subscribe. Yet. Sure. Don't forget <laughs> to subscribe. <laughs> Thank you.